if you smell what the rock is cooking. The rock says, the rock, the rock, the rock says. Hello and welcome to In This Wonderful World of 2020, a WWE Wrestling Tribute Show with Reese Rock Jones and Sean Randy Smith. As we said, goodbye and farewell to, wor- to Road Warrior Animal, who we lost on Tuesday at the age of 60 from natural causes. Road Warrior Animal, also known by Joseph Michael Arnitis, brother of John Arnitis, everyone's favourite general manager and creator of People Power. Also brother to Marcus Arnitis and the step-niece to the Bellas. You step-uncle. Yes. So let us talk you through some of Road Warrior Animals career moments. His wrestling career under the Road Warrior gimmick started in November of 1982 in a, in a biker gimmick. Where have we seen that before? After a few matches as a singles competitor, his career and life in general in this would be changed thanks to an idea by legendary manager Paul Ellen. Yes. Which would form the tag team that would be known as the Legion of Doom in the Lord Warrior Animal and Lord Warrior Hawk. Well, they would start their tag team career in Georgia Championship Wrestling as a heel tag team faction. Yes, they would spend three years jumping forth between American and Japanese territories. And in both territories, they won tag team gold. Then in 1986, they would go to Jim Crockett Promotions. And again, pick up some tag team gold. Yes. But then, 
They really struck gold, if you can call it gold, when in 1990, the Road Warriors signed for a, just a little known wrestling company called the World Wrestling Federation. Oh, shit. That is really showing our age. <laughs> Where they signed in 1990, as we already said, but they were put, and they were immediately pushed into a feud with most famous of all Road Warrior clones and rival tag team Demolition. Yes, and due to and at this time, due to even health of. Uh, Demolition member Axe, he was replaced by Demolition member Cross. But unfortunately, the magic of the Demolition tag team did not last long. No. Then, then, then just over a year after signing with the WWF, the Legion of Doom would win the Tag Team Championships on the... Summer of 1991 on August 26th, which would be the date of SummerSlam that year. Yes. And I believe at that wrestle at that SummerSlam, they uh, came out here on motorbikes at the old Wembley. Uh, they came out to motorbikes at Wembley, yes, but SummerSlam '91 wasn't held in Wembley. That would have, ah. that would have been SummerSlam '92. Yes, well, but unfortunately in that year, Animal suffered a back injury from a botched double suplex. Their first lane as tag team champions in WWE, and F versus anyway, (laughs) came to an end after eight months. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately due to the Injury sustained. He, the, the Road Warriors would not be seen in WWE again for a few years. As in 1993, they made some appearances, or at least uh, Animal did. In World Championship Wrestling, a.k.a. WCW. Funnily enough, a class of champions. <laughs> Which is coming up after this show. Animal made his appearance getting out of a black Camaro. Z28. Indicating his partner Hawk was Dustin Rose's mystery partner against Rick Rude and the Equalizer. And on September 19th at Full Brawl, Animal was the advisor for Sting's team, consisting of Sting, Davy Boy Smith, Dustin Rose, and the ill fated uh, gimmick we shall not talk about in the Shark Master. Yes, that was one of the most embarrassing debuts I've ever seen. Yes. And he would stay in World Championship Wrestling until 1996 in Animal. Yes, having feud with teams such as the Steiner Brothers. And a little known tag team. As called Harlem Heat. Can you dig that, sucker? (laughs) Then, after leaving WCW, Hawk and Animal came back to the WWF. In 1997. Yes, they came back to WWF in 1997, where they took part in the Stone Gold versus Hartland Anderson feud, siding yeah. with Austin. Yes, and they were 
plus, another plus point for, for Animal in his tag team career with Hawk. They became two time tag team champions in on November 7th, 1997, when they defeated the Goodwins. Correction. The October 7th, 1997 yeah. episode of Raw, or as it was then, Raw is War. And unfortunately, in November 1997, they did lose their tag team titles to the newly formed team of Road Dog and a name that we should not mention for legal reasons. Billy Gunn in the New Age Outlaws. Then, after several unsuccessful challenges, the Legion of Doom were repackaged as Legion of Doom 2000, but with a new manager, Sonny. Yes, Sonny. And there's this weird moment where they come out to WrestleMania 14. Yes. And then uh, they were involved in 1998 in some sort of legal, really weird, controversial angle. Yes. Involving one of their tag partners' problems, unfortunately. Yes, for Leeds, in, in 1998, for Leeds to became involved in, in some, co- in some yes we have Hawks real life drug problems mm. and being so showing up to work drunk and able and unable to perform on WWE yes F even that's it and it's uh and unfortunately, uh, during the controversy segment, Hawk was to have shown him to be fallen off the time job, but apparently Animal did not approve of the WWF exploiting Hawk's problems, and that caused them to leave the WWF, although that never officially broke up the team. Then, in 1999 to 2000, they would return to J- Japan, Australia, and the independent circuits. Basically, picking up more tag team championships as they went. And then, then we go back to uh, WCW. Yes, in its failing years of 2001, its dying years, mm-hmm. Animal made a return. By uh, as an enforcer of the stable known as the Magnificent Seven, with the objective to protect the WCW World Champion Scott Steiner at the time. And then however, the however, the- when WCW was purchased by. Uh, Vince McMahon and WWF in March of 2001, Animal's contract was not picked up by the company at the time. Then we go into well, Animal's later career. Yes, after WCW folded, Animal reunited with Hawk in. Uh, Jersey Championship Wrestling by defeating the Moon Dogs 2000 in Lodoy, New Jersey, on September 8, 2001. Yes. Uh, then the Road Warriors made an appearance for a little, and this time we do mean a little company called Total Nonstop Action. Known as TNA Impact. Feuding with uh, Vince Russo's Sports Entertainment Extreme, but would only actually wrestle one match. Yes, but then in 2002, <laughs> as Animal again returned to Ultimate Wrestling to as, as Animal Warrior to it with Kemi Kenji Muto. In 2003, the Low Boys last stand was for fighting of World Japan Pro Wrestling feuding with the Shane Twins, but unfortunately, on September 19, 2003, right. tried to fight the Road Warriors. Yeah, uh, well, before we get to the first tragic oh. part, Animal and Hawk made a 
one-off appearance on the, on the May 12th episode of Monday Night Raw, where they challenged Kane and Rob Van Dam for the World Tag Team Championships. Oh, yes, of course, I remember. However, this would be the final appearance of Road Warrior Hawk, who would ultimately die on October 19th, 2003. Striking tragedy to not only the WWE, but also to Animal. Animal would then reappear on WWE TV on July 14th, 2005, coming to the aid of Heidenreich. Uh, that, that is a name that we're not making up. We actually know that name, I'm right. Who, who was being attacked by the then tag team champions, Eminem. And would challenge, and they would challenge Animal and Hayden like to a tag team championship match at the Great American Bass. Yes. Which Animal and Hayden like under the new Legion of Doom would win. With the Doomsday device. And with Animal dedicating the win to Hawk by saying, Hawk, this will be you. They would have a about three month reign as tag team champions. Yes. However, this uh, tag team was brought to an end. In 2006, when Hayden like was released from his contract on January 17th. 2006. Then in March, Animo decided to team up with Matt Hardy. But that didn't last long either. Yes, because Animo turned heel after the loss, attacking Matt Hardy. And his career and decided to say that Matt Hardy and Hayden like were screw ups and Hawk was the only tag team partner for him and then after that he would soon be known as the Road Warrior yes and would, would basically lose every every part of the uh, well known Road Warrior gimmick the face paint the shoulder pads but by then he was only an enhancement talent Yes, on the March 17th episode of SmackDown, Animal lost a Money in the Bank qualifying match to Matt Hardy. And he was also beaten by the then United States champion at the time, a man who should not be mentioned. Chris <laughs> Murderer. <laughs> on the March 31st episode of SmackDown, and in his final WWE match, and will beat Paul Burchill on the May 6th episode of Velocity in 2006, and he was released from his contract on June 26th of the same year. But then, on pretty much a, just over a, under a year later, on June 17th, Animal made a appearance again in TNA. Their pay per view known as Slammiversary. Yes. With Rick Steiner. <laughs> who has he replaced Scott Steiner, who was out of an injury, but would end up losing to Team 3D, otherwise known as the Dudley Boys. Yes. Then we jump forward to the year 2011. Yes. As part of WrestleMania, as part of the WrestleMania weekend, the Road Warriors were inducted into the Hall of Fame class of 2011. Rightly deserved. And then, and then his last match 
at least in WWE, because I think it might have been his last match period. On the build up to Raw 1000, yes. he made a appearance on the July 20th edition of SmackDown, taking on the one man band. Bye. He's got kids and he's now in TNA. Heath Slater. In honour of Raw 1000's episode, we went on to squash Heath Slater. And then he actually reappeared on the 1000 episode of Raw on July 23rd with the other WWE legends in attendance to help Lee attain that match. Yes, Lee. Because Heath Slater was in the lane, Lita came down as the opponent. Said she had. The match was no disqualification and no count out. At the request of Heath Slater. Lita says she's got some backup. The APA come out. <laughs> then Slater says, ah, I'm getting out of here. Only for... Ah, what a rush. <laughs> to play in the arena. And all the legends to come out and before Slater back to the rim. And Animal's last public appearance well, was it? A- he, he then made another appearance of TNA in 2016. Yes. On the Impact's uh, wrestling special, Total Nonstop Deletion. Yeah. That's it- not. Yeah. Weird name, I know. They were also able to do a Dark Side of the Win documentary with Battle Road Warriors. Yep. Last year. Well, actually, earlier this year, but it was probably done last year. His final public appearance was on September 1st, 2018. As a surprise appearance in the All In. To open the event to get some to get the crowd hype for the event. So we would like to say thank you, Road Warrior Animal, for your great career. We will now sign out of uh, this with a ten bell salute and the theme of the Ultimate Warriors. Ultimate Warriors? Without Warriors. Yeah. Well, so, until then, he's been... Race for Lock Jones, and he's been... Sean Randy Smith has been now told about ten times, followed by the entrance theme to the now reunited in heaven, Legion of Doom.